Okay, part two. I now see that, you know, some people struggle. They don't realize they're struggling, but they are struggling. They might have a decent job, they might be going to work, they might be paying their bills, they might be doing these sort of things, but they are struggling because at their job they're, they're dealing with harassment, they're dealing with um, pressures that other people that they work with don't have to, to, to deal with, but they are constantly being singled out because of the gang stalking, because of the infiltration, because of the human trafficking or whatever. So I struggled a lot, you know, and the more I think about all the years I struggle, which confirms the fact and really makes me understand even more so that now is the time for me to get the hell away from you guys because it's been too long, you know. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought there, but anyway. Um, you know, I, I, <laughs> I, I sit there and I think, my gosh, these people are... They're ignorant. My ex-family is ignorant. They don't know any better. They, they honestly don't realize that you don't treat people that way. And, or, and if they do realize that you don't, then they don't care. And their, their intent was malicious. You know, all because I don't agree with them on certain things. You know. But I never, I don't ever recall, like, making a ruckus or, or, or bullying you because you didn't believe things that I believed in or I did you know I did certain things or you did certain things what I did if I noticed you didn't do things that I did then I kept thinking okay well like I get up early she doesn't you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get up early next week and do things on my own you know at six o'clock in the morning or whatever you know I'll do things on my own that's my solution but I don't sit here and like you know get my sister ex-sister Lisa's neighbors to um, do things to get make sure she gets up at six something in the morning. You know what I mean? Or kind of like uh, make Lisa get on a treadmill or something. You know what I mean? I, I don't sit here and try to change her behavior, which God knows personally her behavior should be changed. You know what I mean? She should be more respectful, mindful, and considerate, but I'm not going to try to change her. I don't care. You know what I mean? Um, I'm disturbed by who you guys are. I'm disturbed by you. And I think you're sick. I really do. I think you're sick. You know? I don't know about, you know, my my ex-mother. I, you know, I... Because she, she's active, but she's inactive. Like, she'll be a part of, of what they call my ex-family gossip or talking and all this other stuff, but she doesn't, my mother doesn't drive. She doesn't really do anything, okay? So she more like lives throughout the activities of like my siblings, okay? So she's not the, you know, and and they just go along with it. And she goes, she goes along with it. And they keep her informed and they bully, and they've been bullying me for years. She never, if, if, if she was really any kind of mother, she would have stopped it. You know, but, you know, her, I, she has a very limited view of the world anyway. So, um, I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm tired of constantly thinking about how unfortunate it was that I had to be in that family. How I could have had so much, so much of a better life without you guys. You know? And I was thinking, you know, if, if they were to offer me like a million dollars in cash, right? And say, hey, we're sorry. Would you accept it? And I said, no. In my mind, I was just going through this scenario. People don't think I'm serious about certain things, but I am. Okay? There are certain things in my life that I find so detestable and so disturbing and disgusting that I don't ever want to see it again. I don't ever want to see it again. I don't want to see you guys again. That's how I feel. Because after years of being abused and mistreated and shouldering a burden um, that I didn't deserve, you know what I mean? I will say that they, they use the excuse of me having a child out of wedlock um, to abuse me. But like I said, the abuse goes... Um, 
longer than that. Um, you know, grade school. Um, it, it got amped up now. I realize that when Culligan got on board. Um, but it's been going on for years. And um, I don't... I see, I see the flaws in the family. It's dysfunctional, and most families are dysfunctional, okay? But I can see the, the personality types, why it was formulated, why we are, my, my family is so, like, ignorant. You know what I mean? Sure, I mean, they might, yeah, Tanya has her bachelor's degree, okay? That's not what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not talking about reading, writing, arithmetic, those basic learning skills. I'm not talking about those things, okay? They don't, they lack judgment. They don't be, they're not able to make good decisions. They don't, they don't understand. And they're, they lack compassion, they lack empathy, they lack um, just common sense, okay? Um, that's what they are. They're ignorant, they're fools, you know? And as an adult, I have a right to say, no, I don't want it, you know? I don't want to be associated with you. Come with me. That's my decision, you know? So at this point right now, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my next step. And um, that's it. That's all I'm, I'm, I wanna do right now. And I know there's been a lot of interception because you guys have this situation in place where you're like, well, yeah, you guys know more people in, in Bakersfield than I do. You know, because you make sure that I don't know them. You make sure that when I turn in a resume to somebody, that they contact you. Because you got this little thing going out here. You know what I mean? Um, I don't, I know not to pay attention to the job ads. So basically what you've done is you've put me in a trafficking system. You know, you've convinced people that Tanya knows so much about, you know, career building, that she's going to be my guiding light, and, and I wouldn't want her touching shit that woman brings is nothing more than she brings chaos and discord with her she is just a vile human being okay she's got a pleasant appearance about her and the idea of her you know being a Christian and the fact that she's got this white husband okay just because he's white doesn't mean he's like the white man he's like He's garbage to me. But anyway, um, but and then but the thing is, whether she claims to be my helpful sister or not, or the person who's concerned about her wayward sister who gave birth to a child 20-something years ago, I have, the, I have a choice to refuse her charity. And I refuse it, okay? Because it hasn't done me any good, okay? And what she's doing is she's abusing me she's abusing me okay I don't want to be in her religion okay I'm not going to change my views on things I don't even want to acknowledge you at all and I'm not going to okay I really think that you're demonic you're demonic And the more I think about it, it makes sense. Because of all the situations that I've gone through, you know, I think you and Jim are demonic. And, I, and I'm pretty damn sure of it. Now, whether the demon, demonic presence have left you and fled you and left you into your natural state of where you can feel remorse or whatever, then you were deceived and you allowed your jealousy to creep in and you behaved in a way that was inappropriate. But regardless, whether you're consumed with the demonic behavior or it was a passing phase or whatever it happened and it was disturbing enough for me to be turned off from you for eternity i cannot look at you think about you or even want to i i i, I can't deal with who you are period okay i cannot care about you i don't care about you i wish you did every day it's not a joke okay so anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. <laughs> yes, it's bullying. What you're doing here, what you're initiating is bullying. 
Um, and there's no reason for it, okay? Nobody asked you to be my guiding light. Nobody asked you for your opinion. I never asked you to guide me. I never wanted you to be a part of my life other than more than what, more than what I had to deal with, okay? I never admired you. I never thought you were cool. I never, I, I didn't, any of those things. You know, and I didn't have that sort of relationship. Okay, I remember we would go on walks every once in a while when we were kids, you know, stuff like that. But I never, ever wanted you to do anything for me. You don't have anything to teach me, okay? You want me to be like, you know, you and be submissive to your husband and all that other stuff. You go ahead and do that kind of stuff, okay? I don't want it. That's your choice, all right? And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with loving your husband and doing good things for him and making him happy. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? That's harmony, okay? But there's something wrong with somebody who's subservient to the point of where you're a goddamn doormat. Okay? You know the difference between the two. Oh, I mean, obviously you don't because you allow this shit to happen. He can bully you because you're married to him if that's what you want, but I'm tired of being a part of your bullshit. This is, hopefully this is going to be the last video that I make of this because, you know, I, I wake up every day and I think about these monsters. These monsters that I want nothing to do with every single day. And I just... It's just time for me to be done with you guys. So, anyway, for the rest of the um, people who are watching my video... Have a wonderful Sunday. I'll be back with another video some other time later. Bye.